So why do I exercise caution when it comes to using either an app on the phone or an app on the computer to help me navigate any big city USA? Hey guys, Todd Heaton here with Humilitas First. In the last video, I talked about how can you identify a high crime, dangerous geographical area. In that video, I scrolled down to the bottom of Peoria Police Department's 2017 shooting report. We saw there, there were 74 shootings that were not fatal. That gave us a picture of a high crime dangerous geographical area. In this video I'm going to look at 2016 shooting report from the same police department. So whenever I use apps on the phone or on the computer and I'm trying to navigate one of the things that I noticed is that it seems to focus on a few different routes and those routes are often the fastest. The fastest routes don't take into account whether or not you're going through a high crime dangerous area. A really good strategy to avoiding high crime dangerous areas is to just box around it. Yeah, it might take a little longer. You might spend a little bit more in gas, but the time and the aggravation and the potential legal battles, so on and so forth, might be well worth that little bit of investment. You know, there's that old pithy saying, an ounce of prevention is worth the pound of cure. The blue route that you see here takes you on the Interstate uh, 74 and it does kind of box, you know, around it because you're not going to have a lot of problems on the interstate. However, that being said, all we have to do is look at uh, the recent uh, past and we can see where interstates got shut down. So if there's a controversial problem going on in the city and you know that there's active protest and you know that it's a possibility that things could spill out onto the interstate, then you might want to avoid this interstate. You might want to take this alternate interstate that kind of goes wider around whatever particular big city USA you happen to live near. Think about these things. 